Hi, my name is Annie Pack, and I chose to attend a Hindu temple service in Plano, Texas. First, I had to choose which temple in the Dallas area I wanted to attend. I decided to attend the Sri Lakshmi Ganapathi Temple in Plano because their website provided service times and photographs of previous events held there. Before arriving to the temple, I was very nervous. I had done research on temple traditions, but was still very uneasy about what to expect. When I arrived, I saw that the temple was situated in a shopping plaza and that there was only one other car there. This eased my nerves a bit, knowing there was not a big crowd. As I approached the door, I noticed a sign that said, Leave footwear here. I took off my shoes and opened the door. When I walked in, I was greeted by the priest, and I explained my interest in attending a service. He was very welcoming and began explaining the basics of Hinduism. He told me there were many different gods that all do different things. He compared these gods, or deities, to the different entities that work together to run a country, such as the Senate or military. These deities, from left to right, are Lord Hanuman, Subramaniam, Ganesh, Shiva, and Durga. This is Durga. She contains the combined energies of all the gods and is considered to be the goddess of everything. This is Ganesh. He is Shiva's eldest son and can be easily identified because he has the head of an elephant. The priest pointed this photo of Sai Baba out to me and explained that he was a reincarnation of another god. He is said to have performed many miracles during his lifetime. He is now worshipped by many Hindus all around the world. I was shocked to learn that when he was alive, he was very poor and had no love for material possessions. As other people entered the temple, I was told it was time for morning prayer. This prayer was called Subra Bahatam. I was told this prayer was done each morning to awaken this God. This is the most worshipped God at their temple. He is seen here with his wives on either side of him. He was given flower petals as offerings and is told to rest each night and awaken each morning. After the prayer, a couple in the temple began explaining that this was called the Navagraha. Each different figure represents the sun, moon, or one of the planets in the solar system. As other people began entering the temple, they would approach the Navagraha to pray. By this time, there were about 15 people in the temple. One couple asked the priest if he would pray to Sai Baba with them. Others chose to pray and worship on their own by bowing their heads on the floor or by walking in a circle around all of the gods. During this time of prayer, a lady asked if I would like to try some kitri. She explained that this was a mixture of rice and lentils. I was very happy that they were including me, even though I was different. This nice lady and her husband took time to talk to me and explain in depth more about Hinduism. They told me several Hindu stories and went into great detail about each god. After learning so much about Hinduism in such a short amount of time, I couldn't help but be proud of myself. I had taken a chance and experienced a diverse new culture and learned new things I can take with me the rest of my life.